Once we have completed our serial dilutions of bacteria, we will now organize them into rows and columns on a new petri dish. We have named this technique patch plating. You will begin by choosing the media type to use for this step. The instructor will tell you what media types are available. Obtain a plate of your desired media. Write your name, the date, the media type, and the temperature of incubation on the bottom of the plate. Next, a grid system will be drawn on the bottom of the new plate. We ask that you draw a grid with five vertical lines and five horizontal lines and space them equally apart. This will allow you to transfer 32 colonies onto this plate. Take a sterile toothpick from its container, being careful not to touch one of the tips of the toothpick. Take one of the plates from the serial dilution where your bacteria have already been growing and choose a bacterial colony that seems to be spaced farther apart from others. With the toothpick, gently touch the center of this colony and transfer it to another plate in the first grid space. On the new plate, be careful not to tear through the auger. It is important that you lightly touch the auger surface as you spread the bacteria. If you are transferring to two or more plates, you can simply continue using the same toothpick. Just be careful not to touch the tip or set the toothpick down in between plates. I would recommend that you avoid the spiderweb type of contaminant that we call Bacillus mycoides. It will quickly overrun your whole plate if you allow it to. Choose bacterial colonies that seem to be far from this contaminant. As you spread the bacteria within each grid space using your toothpick, leave enough room for the bacteria to grow. Do not spread them too close to the edge of the grid for fear that they will grow into the neighboring spaces. Discard the toothpick with each pick and continue transferring until you fill every grid space on the new Petri dish.